Hey guys, this is Mr. Grace for Algebra Unit 5.5 Notes, Day 1. Today we're going to be talking about real-world application of systems of equations. Our learning target today is to be able to solve application problems involving linear systems. So, steps for solving word problems involving systems of two equations. First thing we got to do is to identify. What do we need to identify? Well, we got to identify the variables and what they represent. Okay, and we can use the question, you know, that each problem is going to have a question, and we can use that question to help us. Step two is to set up. Set up the two equations. And remember that the totals, whenever you see the word total, that goes after the equal sign. Step three is to solve. And we can solve the system by using any method we want to. If you wanted to graph, hey, feel free, go ahead and graph. It's going to take you a while. Okay, but you can use substitution or elimination. And then the fourth thing, label your answer with the correct units. Don't do all this hard work and lose the easy points of labeling. Okay? Now, if you need more time to write those down, please pause the video now. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I would highly recommend that you guys have a highlighter to help you with some of this stuff. Okay? So, example number one. Nora and May are selling two types of pies for a school fundraiser, blueberry pie and pumpkin pie. Nora sold 13 blueberry pies and two pumpkin pies and made a total of $133. May sold 13 blueberry pies and five pumpkin pies and made a total of $157. Find the cost of each type of pie. So the first thing they asked us to do was to label. So I need to know what my X is and what my Y is, okay? And I'm going to copy this so I can just copy and paste it into each problem, okay? So the two things they're talking about is they're talking about two types of pies, okay? There's blueberry and there's pumpkin. So what I normally like to do is whatever word or thing comes first, that's what I like to make my X. So my X is going to be blueberry. And then my Y is going to be the second thing they talk about, which is the pumpkin. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is set up two equations. Okay, so I'm going to have one equation right here. And I'm going to set up my next equation right here. Okay, so the nice thing, each one of these sentences is an equation. Nora sold 13 blueberry pies and two pumpkin pies and made a total of $113. 133, sorry. So, how many x? Well, 13x plus how many y? 2y, there's total. And what does it equal? 133. Okay, so we have to read each one of these to figure it out. May sold 13 blueberry and five pumpkin and made a total of 157. So there's my x, 13x. There's my y plus 5y. There's the word total and 157, okay? So we did step one, we did step two, and now we're gonna solve. And how do you wanna solve? Well, the variables are on both sides. See how the X's are lined up? My X's are lined up, my Y's are lined up. We can solve this with elimination. So as I'm looking at this, I can see that my X's are all lined up I can multiply, doesn't matter which one, I'm going with the one with the smaller numbers, 
my first equation by negative 1 for elimination, okay? So when I multiply by negative 1, I get negative 13x minus 2y equals negative 133. And now my second equation, my gray equation, I'm just going to keep that the same. We're going to add these up. Our x's cancel. Negative 2 plus 5 gives us 3y. And the negative 133 plus 157 gives us 24. Now, is the y by itself? No. We need to divide, to divide, and then we get that y equals 8. Now, that's not my answer. Y does not equal 8. Okay, I need to now, I have to plug that in. I have to plug Y in and I have to find out X. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to go either equation. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to do the one with the smaller numbers. And I'm going to plug in Y, which was 8. So 2 times 8 is 16. Okay, we're solving this. So I need to subtract 16 to both sides. We get, excuse me, 13x equals 117. And then to get the x all by itself, I have to divide both sides by 13. And then we get that x equals 9. Okay, now, for that last part, what they are asking for, how much did the pies cost? Okay, so my final, my answer is going to be that the, how much did the blueberries cost? Well, go back to your thing right here. That's what we made that little key for. Blueberry was X, so blueberries, pie was $9, and pumpkin pie cost $8. And then that's our final answer. Okay, so for these, you have to be very organized. We had step one, step two, here's step three. And then finally, step four. Okay? All right, let's look at the next one. Example number two. Bill and Anita each wanted to improve the look of their yards by planting lilies and shrubs. So they bought their supplies from the same store. Bill bought six lilies and nine shrubs for a total of $162. Anita bought two lilies and two shrubs for a total of $42. What is the cost of each lily and shrub? So the first thing I'm going to do, there's my nice little key that I pasted for step number one. What are we talking about? Yeah, we're talking about lilies and shrubs. Okay, so make one of them your X. And the other one, your Y. So my Y's are going to be the shrubs and the lilies are going to be X. So our first sentence, Billy bought six lilies. Oh, that's really big. Okay. Six lilies and nine shrubs for $162. So... Here's where I'm going to write that equation. 6x plus 9y equals 162. Now, let's look at the next one. Anita bought two lilies and two shrubs for a total of $42. Why don't you guys see if you can write that one on your own? So two lilies and two shrubs. Well, two lilies and two shrubs equals 
42. So there we go. Now, what do you want to cancel? Do you want to cancel your X's or your Y's? Well, they're all lined up. Use that multiplication chart. Now, I know that 6 and 2, well, 2 goes into 6, right? Yeah. What would I have to multiply the 2 by? Okay, I'd have to multiply it by 3, but I need them to be opposites. Yeah, so that's going to be a negative 3. So, here we go with the solving. We have 6x plus 9y equals 162. I'm not going to change any of that. But then we get negative 6x minus 6y. And 42 times negative 3 is negative 126. Okay. Combine everything. Our x's cancel. We get 3y equals 162 minus 126. What do you get? Yeah, you should get 36. And then when you solve for y, divide both sides by 3. We get that y equals 12. Okay, remember, we're not done yet. We need to find out how much the lilies cost. So I'm going to plug into the blue equation, the bottom one, just because it's got smaller numbers. Make it easier for yourself, guys. Okay, you guys can do that on your own. Pause the video. And when you're done, I want you to solve for solve and then tell me what's our final answer. Okay, good luck. Okay, we end up getting x equals 9, and the last step is to label everything. So we got lilies equaling $9 and shrubs equaling 8. Okay, let's go ahead and flip it over. All right, so what I want you to do for this one is you guys are going to read all this information and then I want to see if you can set up the two equations. Okay, so you're going to do step one and step two all on your own. Good luck. Okay, so the two things that they're talking about, they're talking about adult tickets and children tickets or student. I'm sorry, I wrote children. It should have been students. Mr. Grice wasn't really paying attention. Tickets to a musical. So in the yellow, we have 10x plus 4y equals 72. And then 11x plus 12y equals 102. How'd you guys do? Hopefully you did good. All right. Now, what do you want to cancel? Do you want to cancel x's or should we cancel y's? Hopefully you're saying y's, okay? Because if we were to cancel the x's, I'd have to multiply by like 10 and 11. Ugh, I don't want to multiply both equations if I don't have to, okay? Now, if we're going to cancel the y's, what do I have to multiply the top equation by? Well, I need to get 4 to 12. So if you don't know, just count. Well, there's 4, 8, 12. So I'd have to multiply by 1, 2, 3. Yeah, I have to multiply by 3. Now, I want them to be opposites. Right now it's positive, so to turn it to a negative, I need to, that's right, multiply by negative 3. Okay, so we get negative 30x minus 12y. 72 times negative 3 gives us negative 216. Okay, and my blue equation stays the same. 11x plus 12y equals 102. Okay, now just like we wanted to, those cancel out. 
And now we have negative 30 plus 11 gives us negative 19x equals negative 114. And you might be like, Mr. Grice, I got two negative, no like, what's all up with all these negatives? This isn't right. Well, guys, we're not done yet. Divide both sides by negative 19. And we get that x equals 6. Remember, a negative divided by negative is positive. Okay? You guys should be thinking, if you get a negative answer, it's not going to cost negative money to go see a show. Okay? You got to think about these. Think it through. Okay? All right. I'm not even going to help you plug in the next part. I want you to solve for y. All right? Pause the video. Pick your equation. Good luck. Okay, and then we get that the adults equal $6 and the students equal $3. All right, example number four. Ready? Pause the video. See if you can do step one and two on your own. I'm actually going to make you do more, but we'll step it or we'll uh, check in after steps one and two. Pause the video. Good luck. Okay, so they're talking about Proviso West and Addison Trail High School planning trips to uh, Six Flags Great America. Proviso West took 10 vans and 12 buses with students and had a total of 536. And then AT had two vans and six buses with a total of 226. So each van and bus carried the same number of students. Find the number of students in each, yeah, in each van. Okay. Now, they're being very specific with this question. So all I need are the vans, okay? What was the vans, X or Y? Yeah, vans were the X. So that's the information I need. So if that's what I need, I should cancel the Ys. Okay, try to make this easier on yourself. How do I cancel the Ys? What do I need to multiply? Well, that's right. I need to multiply the second equation, and I'm going to multiply the second equation by negative 2. Okay? So I want to see if you guys can do this all on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, and good luck. Okay, so I multiplied by negative 2. I was able to cancel the y's, solve for x, and we got that x equals 14. And that's what I needed, right? I needed the number of students in each van. Okay, so I'm done, right? Uh, no, because you got to label your answer. What did you write? Really? Here's what I wrote. Oh, come on. Oh, that didn't work as cool as I thought it would. There we go. Each van has 14 students. Sorry, I thought that would have been a lot cooler, but it didn't work like I wanted it to. Okay, now it's not 14 vans. I already know how many vans each school took. They said that in the problem. Okay, we wanted to know how many students were in each van. All right. Number five, you are all on your own. Okay, now I'll read it for you. Moses and Sarah are selling cookie dough for a school fundraiser. Customers can choose from two flavors. Hmm, two flavors. That sounds like X and Y to me. Chocolate chip or peanut butter. Moses sold three packages of the chocolate chip flavored dough and six packages of the peanut butter flavored dough. He made a total of $96, so there's all your information for the first one. 
I mean, Sarah sold four packages of chocolate chip flavored dough and five packages of buttered uh, peanut butter, and she made a total of ninety nine fifty. So I don't know about you, but I'm just going to highlight some information right there. There you go. And now it's asking for what is the cost of the peanut butter? Okay, so figure out what you want your X and Y to be. This is what I would be, that this would be my chocolate and this would be my peanut butter, but that's just a hint. So when I check in, I'm gonna have all of my work done, okay? Go ahead and pause the video and good luck. Okay, and there's all of my work and my final answer. Now, you might have wanted to cancel something else, but I decided to cancel my X's because what was the question asking for? Yeah, they're asking for the peanut butter. So if I cancel the X's, the Y is by itself and I know what Y equals. Okay, so for this equation to cancel the X's, I had to multiply the top equation by negative four and the bottom equation by three. And you can kind of see all of my work right here. The X's cancel, I get negative four Y equals negative 85.5. Divide both sides by negative 4, and I get that y equals 9.5. Now, when I'm plugging that back in, remember, we're talking about money. So that's why I wrote that the peanut butter cookie dough costs $9.50 per package. Okay? With money, we're always talking about two decimals. All right, guys. Well, that's it for Algebra 1, Unit 5.5 Notes, Day 1. Uh, remember, your homework is the 5.5 practice, and it looks like we're reviewing uh, some inequalities, graphing uh, systems. We're talking about using substitution and elimination, and then we've got uh, real-world application on the back. Okay? So if you have any questions, please come find Ms. Kranz or myself. Otherwise, this is Mr. Grice signing off. Thanks for watching.